my channel. I'm Material Girl Laura. I thought I would pop back on this week and speak to you about some new fabrics I've had in this week. I wanted to start off by thanking everybody who has watched my previous video, everybody who's liked and commented and it's absolutely wonderful. And to my new subscribers, hello. Um, thank you so much. Um, it's all very much appreciated um, that you've actually sat through and watched and um, the comments have been lovely. So thank you very much. So I thought I would start off today with talking about what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing another paper cut patterns Kyoto. This time it's with the frill, frill sleeves. Um, I've worn this quite a lot. It's one of my favourite tops that I've um, ever made. Um, it's made in this Lady McElroy uh, viscose jersey. We don't have any more of this in stock anymore, but we do have another alternative. Um, same um, type of fabric, so it's a viscose jersey, so it's got all this lovely drape to make these beautiful frills. And it's this one here, which is called Paseo Polka and it's this beautiful pink and black polka dot. Lots of lovely drape in that. Um, very, very soft as well. So yeah, the, the Lady McElroy um, Viscose jerseys are so lovely, so soft. Um, so yeah, so that is a really good alternative to make this um, beautiful top out of. So I thought I would um, go into straight into the new fabrics that we've had this week. I want to start off with um, some Pima cotton lawns that we've had in. Now I've never had Pima cotton lawns before. This is the first time and I am so so impressed with them. I absolutely love them. So Pima cotton um, is a really, really high quality cotton, um, sort of similar to um, Egyptian cotton, but um, not rated equally as high as Egyptian, but not far off it. And these lawns are incredibly soft. They're lovely. Now I'm gonna start off with this one, which is called Vintage Blooms and as you can see lovely and drapey it's this one is what i would call wafty <laughs> um yeah it's lovely now i'm actually sewing with this at the moment so i've already washed it fantastic still super soft um now i'm currently sewing a um, made by ray geranium dress with it and uh, the geranium dress is for my daughter's um, World War II day that she's going to with school and um, when I was looking at 1940s uh, dresses for little girls um, a lot of them were similar style to the geranium dress and had Peter Pan collars and luckily the geranium dress does come with a um, expansion pack which has got collar um, I think there's a, a pretty bow that you can add um, and gathered sleeves and fitted sleeves so I'm making it with fitted sleeves and a Peter Pan collar so I've just put the first sleeve in um, and yeah it's going really well but um, the inspiration with the geranium actually started on Instagram and Emma who is also known as Z uh, the zipper foot um, lovely lovely lady she's made a few um, and the last one that she did I uh, was was just absolutely stunning and I thought I need to make that and then as it was um, it all just fell into place um, another lady who's made beautiful geranium dress is uh, Carrie can make it so um, I was also inspired by what she'd made as well um, and uh, um, if you're not on Instagram uh, the zipper foot and Carrie can make it a part 
of a twosome called Devon and Derby. And what they do is um, every so often they will do a um, fabric and pattern challenge and it's really really good it's really interesting it's called um, fabric two ways and um, it's fantastic really inspirational because they're both very very different ladies um, and they put a different take onto the fabric you do a different pattern and um, yeah it's really really good so um, go and check them out I will put details um, in the comments below as well. So another Pima cotton that we've got is this one here, <clears throat> which is called Floral Flourish. Now I was so excited about this one coming in. If you can just see, there are those beautiful big red flowers it's got lovely yellows in magenta turquoise and blues and it's just it's just it's just a riot of color isn't it it's beautiful now for that fabric i uh, think that the sew over it vintage shirt dress would be such a good match to this um especially version I mean they'd the, the both be equally as good but that that version with the long sleeves I just think it would just be so beautiful um but yeah that I think that would make a lovely um vintage shirt dress that one so yeah really love this and again like the other one super super soft a really really beautiful fabric so Let's go on to the next one then. So the next ones I'm going to show you are the viscoses. Um, I was really, really excited to get these in. Um, I'd seen all the samples and the samples are lovely. Um, but yeah, when, when you actually get that bolt of fabric, it's just so, so exciting. Um, so I'll start off with this one here which this one is called exotic palms and look at that it's just so lovely now it's on a navy blue background that and it's got these beautiful flowers and palms and yeah lovely drape it's got a, a good substantial feel to it as well, that one. Now, I think for this, I think it would make a really, really lovely, very easy Vogue 9253. Now, I have actually made this dress. This was my dressmaker's ball dress. And um, I actually made it in... Um, with a lady McElroy, um, Shan no, 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 it wasn't that, not Shantini, um, Serengeti Vogue, that's it, Serengeti Vogue, um, fabric I made that in, and it was such a lovely, lovely dress to wear, so comfortable, um, and the, the, I did make the deep V, as I know some people have adapted it, but I did actually make the, the deep V, but it sat really, really well on me. Um, and I just tape, did tape, um, which I um, took some, I borrowed some off um, Carrie Can Make It, because um, I'd actually forgotten my tape. Um, and I was so annoyed as well, because it, really, <laughs> it was really expensive. Um, and then I forgot it, so, yeah, I don't even know where I put it actually. I, I should probably make a mental note to find it out for the next time I wear it. But yeah, it's a really amazing occasion dress, um, holiday dress. Yeah, it's a really good, good pattern this. Um, I really did enjoy making it. Um, I think the most mammoth task with it is cutting it out. Um, 
and then probably hemming it because there's just so much to hem. Um, but I just did it on my tailor's dummy and um, used uh, the hem tool to call the pins in and in fact my little girl um, helped me hem it so um, thank you Emmy um, because that really helped me out because as usual with me I always have very tight deadlines <laughs> and so to the wire um, as my sewing friends will vouch for me um, yeah I've had button and pip hem garments for me um, just before we've gone out because I've run out of time um, hemming so yeah and sewing friends are the best friends aren't they so um, yeah but that is an amazing pattern so yeah lovely lovely fabric that one um, let me just put that back down here okay so the next one I'm going to show you is this one, which is called Bouquet Splash. There's a lot to remember. I should probably make notes. Um, there's a lot to remember <laughs> when you're showing off um, new fabrics. Um, yeah, so again, another viscose. Super, super soft, this one. I cannot tell you. It's just amazingly soft. And look at that. It's just absolutely beautiful. Look at those different colours there. I think um, colour palette wise, you could match it to so many different things. Um, you, if you've ha ever had any of the um, the gold, which is like a, a mustard, mustard coloured denim, um, you could match it up to that. Um, just that lovely dark dark um kind of cerise pink in there there's gray in there um yeah there's blue and there's so many different colors that you could actually match up to in this um which would make a, a beautiful outfit but for me with this i think it would make an amazing tilly in the button sarin if you was going to a wedding um i think this fabric would be absolutely beautiful um yeah i think that would make such a beautiful seren um yeah I, I love i've got to make this dress at some point um my sewing cue is just terrible i'm one of these people who has all of these plans but then something will come up and then i end up making something that's just completely unplanned um and then everything goes further down the pile hey ho right the next one i want to show you is this beautiful one here now if you can just about see in this one there is those beautiful gold pinstripes running through it now that is a um, metallic thread that's running through this viscose now this one is called safari stripe um, now for me it's got almost like a bit of an animal printy vibe to it this one um, again it's got that beautiful mustard color in and the black on the off-white and the gold stripe running through it it's beautiful um, when I first saw this I thought oh, I've got to get some of that that is just amazing um, and when it came in it did, didn't disappoint now it's not too too sheer but there is a bit of a sheerness to it um, but not you can't really see through it that much but it is it is there um, I think it would be really good for a pussy bow blouse um, I think the drapiness of it and making something like this would be absolutely amazing. Um, and another idea I had for it was the paper cut Kobe. Um, now, I don't know whether you can see there, um, she's actually, the Kobe uh, is actually 
she, it's been made in um, a sheer fabric and then she's wearing a slip underneath. Um, so yeah, so I think it would be, even though it's not totally sheer like this fabric is, um, I think it would work really, really well um, if you were going to make one of these and, and maybe wear um, a black slip underneath. Now I do know that that is actually, that slip, is actually another paper cut pattern, but I just, I can't remember um, off the top of my head now what that's actually called. But yeah, this is another make that I really ne need to get done. Um, I was going to make it for Christmas and then I ended up making something else instead. So I don't usually do. So yeah, the next fabric I want to show you is this. Now this Visco is, it's just, it's so, super soft um, it's beautiful and it's incredibly the drape is just look at that it's beautiful now I think I'll just try and do a close-up there so if as you can see those petals they're white and they've got those little yellow bits just at the bottom of them so I think that this would be really good for a pattern which um, it's a sew over it pattern but if you buy Simply Sewing magazine um, on a regular basis you would have received it in there um, I can't remember exactly how long ago it was maybe maybe a month or so um, now but it's called the Cora set now it does consist of that dress there and then the top that's on the front. And I think it would make a beautiful Cora top. Um, I think, and the dress, but I think that top, it would be absolutely stunning in that fabric. Um, and if you've bought that magazine and you've got this line about, um, double, that's, that's really handy, isn't it? So there we go, put that back on the pile. Now, the next one I want to show you is really really fun it's called fancy flamingos here we go and look at that i mean how much do those flamingos pop they're lovely aren't they there we go so yeah do a close-up of it they are amazing aren't they lovely so they're pinks oranges there's a bit of white on them now i think that would be really good for a tilly in the buttons of marigold and if you are taking part in the um sewing together for uh, summer challenge um which is making a jumpsuit this year um yeah that is something really, really good to make with this fabric. I think it would make a beautiful marigold. Um, so I'll put that back on the pile. Yeah, it's it's a lovely fabric. Um, again, as, as a viscose, it's got a real sort of substantial feel to it. Um, it's really, really lovely. Again, it's it's soft. Um, which we, we, all, we all like a bit of softness when it comes to fabric, don't we? Um, and yeah, lovely drape, and just what an amazing print that is. So then, the next one I'm going to go on to show you is this one here. Now, I absolutely love this one. Um, I saw it a long time ago, and um, I thought I've got to get some of that. And here it is. Now, this is called Artist's Flowers. It's a lovely viscose. It's super soft. And just look at that beautiful print. Colour palette wise, you can match so many different things to this. It's got beautiful drape. There we go. It's not um, 
it's not sheer in any way. Um, now, I think with this, because it has got that, that beautiful drape to it as well, um, it, it, could, it could be so good for so many different things, but um, I picked out another pattern again, which um, come free in Simply Sewing. I can't remember now what month it was free, whether it was this month. Um, I do think it was quite recent, but um, you can either make the wrap dress or, uh, and I hadn't noticed this um, until recently, but if you turn it over, you can make the top as well, even though it does show you on the front, I hadn't noticed, but when I turned it over and I saw that top, I thought, wow, that is absolutely stunning. And making this, um, making it in this, wearing it with jeans or um, some, you know, tight black trousers, and I think it would be so lovely. Um, yeah, when I saw that, I just, I knew exactly um, which of the new fabrics would be great for that. Um, and again, another, if you, if you buy Simply Sewing Magazine, then you've got that hopefully still in your stash that you could possibly use. Um, so yeah, so another beautiful viscose. Now, the last fabric that I'm going to show you is, um, let me just get it for you. Oh dear, is this one here? It's a lovely polyester. Look at that. Now it is. I could admit not. It looks very black, but it's it is actually a very dark sort of midnight blue. Let me do a close up on that for you. And look at the colours in that. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, I actually um, have a plan for this for myself. So, I'm going to be using it um, to make the, so over at 1940s, um, wrap dress. Um, yeah. It's going to be a bit of a random make, Un unscheduled, <laughs> totally unplanned. So, um, yes, I can't wait to start using this. It's so soft. It's got that lovely drape to it. Um, but uh, with it being a polyester crepe as well, fantastic for taking on holiday in that suitcase. Um, it won't it won't crease an awful lot. Um, that, that's what I love polyester for, um, just chucking in your suitcase. It's just, it's wonderful. Um, and you know, if, you, if you're going out on the night, if you're going out on the night and wearing it um, on the night, um, I think as well, it just, it always, they always feel so special as fabrics. Um, so yeah, um, watch this space for that. Um, hopefully I will get that, that put together soon. So yeah, so that's it for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching um, all of that. Um, hopefully I'll be back again soon as well. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up please. Uh, if you want to make a comment, please do, because I really enjoy reading the comments. Um, and I do get back to everybody who's commented as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, and also, if you want to see more, uh, click to subscribe. And, um, yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Take care, everyone, and happy sewing. Bye.